This is only a drill. The siren a warning. The rapid fire a defense. The waters surrounding Naval Weapons Station Earl in Leonardo, New Jersey are restricted and patrolled by armed Navy security forces at all times. In case of attack, these sailors are more than ready. It's important to go through these drills so muscle memory, in case anything does happen in the real life, we can better go through it without hesitation. Master at Arms Hunt Ashmore is trained to be a gunner, firing blank ammunition. I was invited on board their harbor patrol boat in Sandy Hook Bay to get a behind-the-scenes look at the station's first line of defense. Geared up in a life vest and earplugs, it was go time. Another boat played the role of the enemy, coming in hot towards us. Today I'll be the coxswain of the vessel, so uh, I'll be the one driving the boat, um, making sure that, you know, that, that my gunner maintains position. Master at Arms Jerry Lone first tries to make contact with the threat. Communication is key out there. Absolutely. Um, the, I, it's communication to the to the vessels that are on the water. Um, you try to hail them on the uh, the marine band radio, the VHF radio, uh, and also communication between me and the gunner as well. Weapons Station Earl is the only naval base on the East Coast with the ability to load and unload ammunition from warships at a safe distance from heavily populated areas, thanks to a 2.9 mile pier in Sandy Hook Bay, making it a big target. The missiles and bombs and ammunition that they use to bring the fight to, to the enemy come from, from this pier. As we approach summer, the base reminds boaters to stay away from restricted waters for national safety and their own safety. In Leonardo, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.